Hi, everyone. How are y'all doing tonight? It's so great to see all of you here. Uh, it's, you know, we're finally back in the swing of things again. We've got programming all the time. We've got great things coming up. It's just really wonderful to see you all here in person. So thank you very much for being here tonight. Uh, my name's TJ. I'm the program coordinator here. Uh, so you'll see me a lot at these programs. One thing that I, I often, uh, actually one of our employees was just asking me, he's like, you got such a cool job. You get to meet all these interesting people. And I said, I know, it is really awesome. He's like, how do you find them? And most of the time, they find us um, because they've heard about the great programming we do here at the library. And someone knows, oh, you should, you should feature this person or this band that I just saw. So if you have those ideas, this is your library. We want to feature things that you all are interested in and enjoy. Do not hesitate to get in touch with me. The easiest thing to do is just send an email to programming at ranchomiragelibrary.org. That'll come right to me. It comes to our director. Uh, we'll take a look, and maybe it's something that we can do. So, um, But we've got a great, great lineup coming up in the next couple weeks. If you love jazz, uh, in two weeks we've got um, a great duo there, a couple who plays four hands jazz piano, and they kind of climb all over each other, <laughs> literally, um, as they're playing. So it's, it's really great. They play ragtime, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So make sure you check that out. We've got some great author events coming up. So um, if you haven't already gotten our, our program guide, pick one of these up. Uh, they're available in the back of the room. But without further ado, I would like to get started on tonight's program. I do want to thank our uh, Rancho Mirage Library and Observatory Foundation. That uh, is how we fund all of these programs. So these are actually sponsored through our foundation. Uh, and you can donate to the foundation easily. Uh, you can make a donation in the back of the room. You can do so online but it is how we fund all of this. And so we're very appreciative to the foundation and our board members that work hard all year to help raise those funds. But I wanna go ahead and start by introducing uh, tonight's guests. So Steve Hobbs and Hilliard Green will be joining Steinway artist and library favorite Lenore Raphael. She's toured around the world and played in many of the great jazz spots. Along the way, she's played with greats including Clark Terry, John Hendricks, uh, Howard Alden, Bucky Pizzarelli, and more. Influenced by Oscar Peterson, Bud Powell, and Bill Evans, she has taken these styles and created her own recognizable sound. It is fantastic. You are going to have a great time tonight. Her album, Loverly, received the BBC Jazz Network's Best International Recording Award. Please help me to welcome Lenore Raphael. There we go. <laughs> Hello. 
It is so nice to see so many people out. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And my partners in crime, Hilliard Green on base. And Steve Hobbs on Marimba. Thank you. Um, we're going to start with a great standard tune called There Is No Greater Love.
That's a fun warm up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I shouldn't tell you this, but Hilliard got to hear it about half an hour ago. So <laughs> we kind of, you know, got it together. Yeah. Um, here's a great Duke Ellington tune called Perdido, which actually means lost. Thank you. 
If it looks like we're having fun, we are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Hilliard, because you got here a tad late, going, we're going to feature you now on another great Duke Ellington to call in a sentimental mood. Don't start, people are curious about this instrument, so I'll take a moment. <laughs> not nick a beat on money. So when you travel with your regular base, they would charge you for oversized and overweight because they would have to travel in a flight crew. So a bunch of makers started making alternatives and they're still making alternatives. Let me know if I'm not speaking loud enough. I, sometimes I don't. Um, so my employer at that time into a bunch of extra money and said, Hill, I want you to go out and buy one of those bases. And so I had a very fortunate crew where we were recording for a major label. We had some extra money and we got stuck on an arrangement. And so the musical director of that session had to spend a day and a half rewriting that arrangement. So during that time, while I'm on the clock, I'm out shopping for a new base. <laughs> Life doesn't get any better than that. <laughs>
beautiful. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, from the sublime to the ridiculous. Um, <laughs> several years ago, a tune came to me, and I sat down at the piano, and I wrote a tune called, Are You Ever Going to Agree With Me? <laughs> um, some of you can imagine where it came from. It could be political, could be, but <laughs> everything has politics. So <laughs> this is my tune, dear, called, Are You Ever Going to Agree With Me?
He didn't agree with me. <laughs> he didn't agree with me. Anyway, we're going to um, skip a few years forwards to the great tunes of the bebop jazz players and writers. And this was written by the great Duke Jordan. And in those days, they smoked funny cigarettes. Not anymore, of course, no, nobody does that. But um, they smoked and did some stuff. And anyway, Duke Jordan wrote this tune. And the tune is called Jor Do, which is Duke Jordan backwards. Thank you. 
practice helps. <laughs> practice helps. Um, we're going to feature Steve on a beautiful tune called The Nearness of You. Film scoring guy, a friend of mine, Alexander Burke, does his own film score. And so I currently write the music for him, Natalie Portman's new uh, series on Apple. But this this is a marimba, and it's got some, it's, uh, it's a challenging instrument. Um, no pedal, but my whole career, everybody's called the vibraphone, which is the metal one with the bars that go round and round. They always call it a xylophone, my whole career. They never in the vibraphone. So today, I come in with my marimba, and they're like, oh, cool, the vibraphone. <laughs>
Can you believe an hour has gone by? I can't. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a great tune. And this is a kind of reunion because three of us have not played together since when? For a while. So, <laughs> for a while. So, uh, it's called Reunion Blues.
Thank you. Thank you. Steve Arms, uh, Marimba. Thank you. Hilliard Green. Uh, Uh, thank you all so much for coming. We re <laughs> on to Steinway. <laughs> yeah, they love it when I say that. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming. We really enjoyed seeing you again. Thank you.